Hey there everybody, it's Nini Whole Universe, I hope that everything is fine and today we are reading one comment of uh, Luis Abelardo. We can open this and uh, here is our comment, thank you for the video and about surnames, Maria Alexandrovna is here and also Maria and I right now retell what does it mean, if you want you can you can uh, you can read it stop your video previously and uh, read all the comments i will retell you right now what's our video all about yesterday i uploaded the video of surnames in russia like maria alexandrovna or igor dmitrievich or dmitry olegovich or something like this it is uh, surnames it is part two of surnames how to call people in russia with uh, how to use their names, how they work. And so uh, we have uh, first names, surnames, last names. And and question of Louis was this. How to use them in a formal way, in an informal way? How to choose uh, what will be correct for this situation? How to be approachable for that situation? And etc. For example, if you are, if a girl said to you, I'm Maria Alexandrovna, hello, how, how are you doing? Then how should we call her? We should call her Maria Alexandrovna or we can call it uh, shortly Masha or we can hurt her something else like uh, Mashka, come to me. Yes. Uh, and something like this. Mashka, it is uh, one more uh, shorter way. Okay, formal, super formal way to say uh, in Russia it is by using surname and also first name. First name and uh, surname. Like, for example, Yegor Dmitrievich. How are you doing? Not how are you doing. What's your deals? Or maybe... Uh, uh, is, is everything good in your like uh, queens in your in your king's castle yes and uh, we are on the president party not party uh, the president conference conference we are so like uh, jesus christ proud and yes hello maria alexandrovna i'm so glad to see you here it is so nice my pleasing soul so good for it looking at your appearance yes it is for formal super formal way and uh, informal way will be much hello what's new in the whole universe i hope that everything is fine yes uh, what's uh, how was your yesterday's party nice huh uh, yes and uh, for mashka mashka it is so like a uh, jesus christ uh, it is like a super mega formal like mashka what's uh, what's new was uh, we are you banging yesterday with this guy yes it was uh, like a uh, jesus christ nicely ma uh, yes a uh, lollipop and uh, something like this it is uh, for super mega informal and sometimes not in and sometimes this even vulgarly sounds sometimes really I, even for female because in russia we don't have like a, a rights of uh, males and females and when you call it uh, to female then you you are like jesus you are doing not really nice things to me <laughs> yes or i don't know how to say it correctly okay okay guys and uh, also, it is the way Maria Alexandrova, uh, Alexandrovna, it is uh, for formal way, yes, informal will be Masha, and how to choose, what's the type to use, wow, rhymes, <laughs> nice, and uh, how to choose, need to ask her, how can I call you, or how to say it, it is uh, something, may I ask you, how can I uh, introduce you or something like how can in, in english language you have it like uh, when you are on uh, something on on the meeting you ask how may i uh, i ask you how how may i uh, name you in russian language it is uh, it means that how can i say your words how can i say your name and uh, it is um, I said already in Russian language, in English you have it too, the same thing. I forgot what's name of it. It is how may I call you, how may I name you or something. Something. It is when person says to you, can we speak on on informal way or on formal? In Russian language it means можем ли мы на ты? It means uh, may we speak on on you? You means in Russian language, uh, in a way of small you, like formal way. May we speak on you? 
it means. May we speak on you? It means uh, on a level of uh, of freedom, on the level of um, of equality. And in Russia, we don't have super mega situations that uh, we speak super mega formally. Uh, we speak formally only maybe when our gap of uh, of age super well like uh, she's uh, 30 years old and you are 10 years old and uh, you speak uh, because oh jesus it is older a lot like 60 years old and you are 20 and you speak because you respect her but if she says that you can uh, tell me like masha and uh, okay i will tell you masha and uh, if even super old ages also, you speak it to the presidents, to this type of queens and uh, these things in a super mega formal ways. But mostly you speak on uh, you. You means uh, that on informal way. Speaking on you in Russian language means speaking informal. And you ask it, можно на ты? Okay? It is how you ask it. You can... Uh, <laughs> you can understand it. Ты means you. Можно means may or can. And uh, na means on. On it is the preposition. Okay. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you for Luis Ale Abelardo for it. Uh, may I ask you where are from, by the way? Are you from... Uh, are you from Spanish speaking country or something because it is interesting to to know and I respect your country even uh, if you are from not Spanish but from America or from Canada or from other places thank you a lot for watching see you next time be cool and always improve Saldele bye bye